I mean, the market breadth is uh, terrible. Uh, almost two is to one in favor of declines right now. And this is exactly the opposite when we started early on. Sudhi Bandhupadhyay is with us now, chairman of Indy Trade. Uh, Sudhi, good to have you with us here as always. Thanks very much. Uh, you know, there is clear uh, selling visible. Broader markets actually is the bigger pressure, bigger pressure point. Uh, and uh, lots of large liquid names under a fair bit of uh, pressure, Pro profit taking in some cases, earnings disappointments. Uh, what do you make of the situation, Sudeep? Uh, and uh, near to medium term, uh, what's your prognosis? More pressure, more selling here? Well, there is definitely some concerns in the market. I think the primary concern stems from the fact that uh, we are, uh, there's a feeling that we are still not out of this inflation-related challenges. Uh, there may be uh, some shocks as far as inflation numbers are concerned. That's what the market is uh, feeling. Uh, and, uh, you know, that feeling may not be absolutely unwarranted. Uh, and if that matures, I think uh, yeah, we have uh, something to worry about. Uh, also, I believe that uh, the global uh, uh, investors, which is the FII community, they're still selling. And, uh, you know, the, 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 the trade where they were selling India and investing in other Asian markets, including China, is still not over. There is still some residual selling going. And uh, on top of all that, I think we are not doing ourselves any favor by, uh, you know, uh, through the corporate earnings, uh, which is not really uh, inspiring. Uh, yes, the financials, uh, uh, you know, sector by and large has done well, but other sectors uh, haven't really done anything great. And uh, that's also putting pressure on market. Uh, you know, combined with all this, I think uh, there is some amount of profit booking is also happening. And, uh, you know, FII's uh, hold a lot of financials, and that's why probably we are seeing a lot of pressure on the financial space. Uh, that's overall taking the market down. We have, of course, the Adani issue also to handle. Okay. So, Deep, uh, the market's uh, uh, sort of giving an opportunity to those who want to get in and buy. Are you buying? And if yes, uh, any ideas you want to share for this week? Well, Surabhi, I think I did mention earlier as well, I think uh, uh, I like LNT quite a bit. And, uh, you know, the selling we saw post results in LNT again was an opportunity for buying. Now, remember, uh, one has to have a little bit of a longer time horizon, at least one year when you're buying into stocks at this juncture. Uh, you know, the, there's a significant tailwind behind LNT. The performance also has been improving, efficiency is improving, strong order book. And apart from the India business, the West Asia, uh, you know, hydrocarbon capex is happening, so they are getting orders there as well. Okay, LNT is the pick of the pack. Uh, life insurers up your alley, Sudeep? You know, they are uh, terrible last few years, uh, some recover, some signs of life and then budget comes. Uh, and uh, all sold off sharply, although we, they did see bounces last week. Uh, but again, I mean, HDFC life is down, SBI life, Max, I mean, all these under pressure. Do you like any of them? Prashant, I do like the sector. In fact, I must admit that I have been advising clients to buy life insurance companies, and I still maintain my view. Uh, I think the post-budget, we did see a kind of overreaction. Uh, yes, uh, the government is trying to stop arbitrage in multiple areas, and you know this is one of the uh, uh, measures uh, uh, which probably will uh, prevent uh, some amount of arbitrage which was there. Uh, but now, leaving aside uh, that part, I think fundamentally nothing has changed as far as uh, life insurance sector is concerned. The basic rationale, the underpenetration, and the opportunity staring in the face of uh, life insurance companies in India hasn't changed. So the rationale doesn't change, and the uh, you know the, the recommendation doesn't change. So for from my point of view, SBI Life definitely is a good buy. Uh, one can look at HDFC Life also if. Uh, you have two year plus time horizon. Uh, they are still in the process of consolidating post the merger with Excite Life. Mm. Uh, Sudeep, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Quick conversation today, but uh, appreciate your time here.